I'm so glad you're driving, dude. Or maybe that's a bank, but it looks like a that's church with a steeple at the top. That's the one thing that would keep me from living in that's not a big a church. church. Okay. The vacation's proving to be quite the diversity lesson for the kids. They're getting a lesson in homelessness and diversity while we're checking out the Mutter Museum. Shall we? Disturbingly informative. Show us again. No, no. <laughs> Look. I don't know. Sometimes I think video can't capture the beauty of a scene. Big cathedral. Streets of Philly. The joy of being somewhere other than home. Having your family out in the world. Sierra, you ever been to Philly before? No. Are you now? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that big cathedral behind you. Wow. I know, freaking out, right? I don't know, I'm just looking. The weather's a little cold, so we're trying to do a car tour of Philadelphia. Everybody look out the window at the architecture and go, ooh. ooh. Oh. And now we're headed to Geno's for some cheesesteak. Mm, Yay! What do you think? Well, it's the big city. There's a reason we don't live there, because we're from Indiana cornfield land. I grew up in the, literally in the middle of a cornfield I could run all day as a kid. Cool. Here, Let's it's not check. like that. She had like every color you could think of. I missed her. I was going to hug her. She had little like, slippers, but they were boots. Because this floor has, this uh, street has the uh, Philadelphia Center of the Arts. So I'm, I imagine there's a studio for dance, for, uh, you know, written art, for, for drawn art. Why are any we kind of walking? art. Because it is too freaking cold. What you think, Rach? It's pretty. I'm taking a lot of pictures. Your life cooler than the flip side what do you think, Sierra? Mmm, straight cheese. Devin, what you doing? I am sending Josh a Philly cheesesteak. Like oh, yeah? Like, yeah? Yep. Good for you. So you're going to edit all this after the fact, or are you going to edit it tonight? No, I'll sit tonight and put up at least one. It's nice you're playing with those kids. Someone had an accident. <laughs> Poor guy. Honey, I want to fly through all the way down. Am I embarrassing you yet? Did you just take that? What's up, dude? Oh my god. Uh, Lizzie, this one's for you. <laughs> You're going to come to Geno's. First of all, parking is a huge issue. But once you get parked, there's a lot of street vendors, a good ambiance for the city, a lot of fish markets. It's pretty awesome. The kids are freaking out. A lot of city flavor here. What do you think, Dee? Feel like you're getting a taste of Philly now? It's all right, we're in a hurry. You don't want ice cream today, it's cold. That's like special. No. You can't have that open to the public. Oprah. Who is that? Sylvester Stallone. He looks familiar. Tony Danza. Oh, you said that you're so hot. Hey, that's Kelly, Kelly. from Regis and Reese Kelly. Kelly. Look, Oprah. Yep.
We are here in line for the famous steak. All right, could you open the steak? Okay. Oh. Here it is. Oh, yeah. That onions are gross. Let's do it. Look at mine. Ready? Oh. Yeah. I love cheese. No onions. No onions. Bevan? You Dirt good? Halfway through it. Uh, I like Penn Station. <laughs> you don't have to drive to Philly for Penn Station. Penn Station. Penn Station, yeah. Pennsylvania. So how's your cheese steak, Mom? What is Why the meat, actually? Beef. Is it beef? Yeah, I, I just thought of his no, beef. euros. No, it's beef. No, it's beef. It's just shredded beef. Well, your dad eats the euros and it's lamb. Yeah. And it's gross. And... It would be just like him to, to give it to me, and I eat it halfway, and they'd say, oh, guess what you ate? Mm. I'd be like, uh. That Gino's was better than I expected. I thought a tourist trap, but that was a pretty good cheesesteak. Guys? Yeah, so considering good. that friends were here. Oh, probably. Everyone's been there. Kelly, we're, Kelly, Reese, Kelly, everybody, yeah. Cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> That's the biggest problem. I went to buy off to see the, the Liberty Bell. Yes, the Liberty Bell. Lived in Philly for a year, never did come see it. Now I'm gonna do it. All right, as you can see, I am in front of the Liberty Bell. We are actually here. You can see the repair work on it. What do you think, Sierra? Seeing a national artifact that goes all the way back to the original colonies. What do you think, Cherish? Make sure you see that. You see that classic crack. Let's look at that. Thank you, Amy. I haven't seen that. Liberty Bell. That, that bell has seen this nation change from its original formation to what it is today. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Okay, we stand in front of Independence Hall, where the Liberty Bell was originally mounted up there, where our nation's business began. We are at the heart of it. Devin? <laughs> The Franklin Fountain. A little place where Devin saw on TV, so now he's got to do it. Oh, look at mine, it's big. <laughs> I didn't know. That's the, the biggest thing she'll ever consume. I read Benjamin Franklin's autobiography once, and I stand now on his land. This is the entrance. This would have been Ben Franklin's entrance to his uh, printing office. This isn't an exact location, but it's thought to be very close to some of Ben Franklin's original print shop. So, very cool, very cool tour, very cool place to be this close to the original. And here's some of the printing presses. What do you think about and those? In one of the movies that I saw, yeah. um, uh, we should be okay. Benjamin Franklin or someone was like, I need you to go print 
It's like five copies of this. Whoa, whoa. You were saying there are ten people in your class in the middle of Indiana that don't stand up and say the day, say the, uh, pledge the flag? There is kids in classes that just don't say the Pledge of Allegiance, yeah. Let me hear you say it. Why? Come on, let me hear you say it. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all! <laughs> We just saw the foundation of George Washington's house. Man, I recommend everybody come and hang out here for at least a day. Come on. I just had a bunch of TikToks. United States of America. Stop looking at me. One of the things we wanted to see while we are here is this classic hippie love statue. Skater boys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, boys! <laughs> Stop, now they're all looking at me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. What are you doing? I'm taking pictures. I never I'm said lay down. <laughs> hey, somebody ollie this girl. No, I'm not. <laughs> Mama. There's a love statue in like a skate park. I know there is pretty. There's a lot of hot guys. Okay, now pit. Out, Rachel. <laughs> Out of the pool, what are you Rachel. Doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, sir. I wanted to see if it was a sticker. It's not, it's like this stuff. But, okay, we we're all here. Weren't we dead, guys? Yeah, we, we did it. And we totally did the Rocky statue. Yeah. Totally. See him up there? there? he is. Yeah. We rocked it. Now watch, they're gonna go up the stairs. Okay, you do the theme. Dun 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 You get to the top, you gotta do the dance. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Stop. All right, guys. What a day in Philly. We saw George Washington's house, Ben Franklin's printing press. We saw the love statue. We got the Rocky Steps, Rocky statue, Gino's cheese steak. I'm not wearing Chuck, so it's not a good, good thing. Good, like, measurement. Like all right, kiddos. It is time. Oh, Sierra. That would not have been cool. Let's call it a day in Philly. Tomorrow, Baltimore. It says, it's a letter written. It says, look, it's an order it's sent to England. Give us a bell, about 2,000 pounds. It'll be about 100 pounds sterling. Uh, make your best people do it because we're told that we need the bell before the building comes. That's what they're saying here. And then uh, and have the following words put on it by the order see around the top of the Providence of Pennsylvania proclaim liberty throughout the land of its inhabitants thereof. The big bell, so the first. What? Tell me. It's going on the internet, you know, it doesn't hurt. It was there.